Hello everyone. Welcome to our course Azure Kubernetes Services or AKS Deep Dive, which covers in depth a deep dive for AKS and Kubernetes. This video is part of this course and will cover lesson 3 in module 1, which is Container VS Virtual Machine. This video is part of module 1, Introduction to Application Modernization and Containers. And this is where the video is located in the current module. So let's start. Module 1, Lesson 3, Container VS Virtual Machine. This lesson will cover, first we will understand what is the virtual machine. So we will get a quick overview for those they are not aware of the virtual machine. So we can get a quick overview and then understanding hosting workload in virtual machines. And then understanding some of the challenges when we hosting our workloads in virtual machines. After that, we will understanding how container solves the problems of working and deploying applications. One of the challenges of software is how we are going to deploy our application to work in the same way. Either it was a dev machine or a testing environment, pre-production or even production environment. So we will understand how container help us to solve these problems. And then we will understand more information about what is the container. So we can get an overview about the container. And then understanding physical machine vs virtual machine and containers so we can understand the difference between the three entities and why they are different and what is exactly the main difference between them and then understanding the benefits of container so what is the advantages of using containers and then understanding who are using containers. So some of the important aspects that make us choosing containers over the virtual machine. And at the end, we will understanding the containers and the market share. So we will see how containers is playing in the market share according to hosting workloads in the market. Before we start, let me give you a quick introduction about myself. My name is Mohammed Radwan. I'm a developer technologies MVP and principal DevOps consultant. I have been doing software development for more than 17 years now, working on several projects for different enterprise customers across different regions and countries. For more info about me, you can review lesson one in module one. So what is the virtual machine? It's a very simple definition. It's just emulation of a physical computer. So it includes virtual processor, memory, storage, network. But unlike containers, VMs host an operating system. Virtual machine has a complete operating system. This is why I can have a Windows physical machine. And on this physical machine, I can have a virtual machine for Windows. I can have a virtual machine for Linux and so on. Virtual machine are an ideal choice when you need to have a total control over the operating system, like which operating system you want to run that host your application, that you want to install a specific configuration on this operating system. So when you need to have this custom software on this hosting machine, then the virtual machine is the best solution to host your workloads because it's also have the ability to use custom hosting configuration. So in a data center like this one, the virtualization hardware enables us to create thousands of virtual machines that host our workloads. But virtual machine has some challenges. First, it is a resource consumer. Just imagine the size of the space. If you create an empty Windows 10 virtual machine, this could may end up with 100 gigabytes without installing any third party applications or and if you start this virtual machine just imagine the memory that needed for this virtual machine and the processor that is required to just run the operating system so virtual machine are resource consumers another point how do you transfer virtual machine from one place to another just imagine if you want to transfer 
100 gigabyte of your virtual machine which has your application and you want to transfer that over the network or over the internet how we are going to do that how long it will take what is the challenges of transferring this size over the internet so how does an application easily move between development environment to testing environment into pre-production or even production moving the, our application very easily especially if we have a long distance between several environments so containers are a great tool to solve all these problems so let's understand how this happened so if we look at containers the main idea that you just containerize something inside the container and then put that on a ship and ship that to different location and I don't care exactly what is inside the container it will reach the destination either it was in Asia or Africa or South America or even Australia so it will be the same way to ship our container no matter what is the destination and looking at containerized application it works the same way we just package our application inside a container and then deploying either in my machine or maybe a co-worker dev machine or it could be a testing environment or even a production on the cloud so shipping the software it is the same way as i am moving that to any destination and it always works the same way and this is the beauty and the powerful of the containers so when we look at the containerize verb so containerize mean to package freight in uniform sealed containers for shipment and when we're talking about software or application just replacing with application so we are going to package our application in uniform sealed containers for shipment so this is the meaning of containerized an application so what is container i really like the idea to declare container the same way as a virtual machine except it doesn't host an os it doesn't include the operating system of course there is several difference in the way that container work be as the virtual machine but i really like the idea to just focus on the main difference between them but at the end container is just emulation for a physical computer without hosting an operating system so when we look at container it is a standard unit of software that packages up the application and all the dependencies so the application can run quickly reliably from one computing environment to another so the main idea that packaging the application include everything needed without the needed for the operating system it includes everything needed to run the application code runtime system tool libraries as well as setting so it can run at any place in the same way multiple containers are run by a single os kernel therefore are more lightweight than virtual machines because again the container doesn't include the operating system so it is very lightweight and very small compared to virtual machine so let's understand the difference between physical machine virtual machine and containers if we look at the physical server we usually have the virtualization software like hyper-v vmware virtualbox and this virtualization software work on the hypervisor technology on the physical machine and on this physical machine i can have different or several virtual environment or several virtual machines and on each virtual machine i can have containerization software like for example docker where i can create several containers on the same virtual machine and the same for the other virtual machines so based on the containerization software i can have several containers on the same machine of course i can have also the containerization software directly on the physical machine but this is not common as virtual machine is much easier so if we look at the architecture we can see that in the physical machine we have our physical hardware we have the operating system and we have our applications installed on the operating system this is how the typical physical machine work but when we look at the virtual machine we have our physical machine 
and on this physical machine I have the hypervisor control virtualization software and then I can have a virtual machine one which include an, a guest operating system and install in this guest operating system several applications I can also have another virtual machine with a different operating system and another application and as I explained before the guest operating system for the virtual machine one can be Windows and the guest operating system for virtual machine two can be Linux for example so each virtual machine has its own operating system but when I look on the container on the physical machine that has hypervisor I can have a virtual machine which has a guest operating system but for this virtual machine I will install or I will have a containerization engine on this virtual machine and then I will leverage the guest operating system so creating several containers and these containers will not include the operating system or will not have a separate operating system but instead it will leverage the virtual machine or the host operating system and inside this container I can have all the dependencies for my applications and of course my application I, of course I can have another container which include all the dependencies and the application so the main difference between virtual machine and containers that virtual machine has a separate OS which consumed space for the hard disk memories for the RAM processors and the container doesn't include an operating system and instead it leverage the hosting of the machine operating system which gives the container powerful because it less consume memory CPU and space let's have a quick comparison between virtual machine and container so in virtual machine it has a separate OS or operating system but in container it shared the operating system or the kernel of the operating system which means that in the container it is very lightweight compared to the VM it takes less space less resources memory CPU and so on so in the VM it larger size compared to container but in container it is a smaller size compared to VM it takes minutes to create or provision a VM but it takes second to create and provision a container it takes minutes to start or to stop a VM because the overhead of starting the operating system but it takes second to start or stop a container fewer can be created on the physical machine compared to container and many can be created on the virtual machine compared to the VM so let's look at the advantages of using containers over a VM why we choose a container over using a VM so as we explained before because the main difference is that container doesn't include the operating system it means it is lightweight and this mean first it is very good for utilization for resources because again it takes less CPU less RAM less space on the hard disk so it is very lightweight which mean that this help to create more unit on the same resources it also help to speed the system for starting shutdown it also help for transferring and easy for transferring the containers over the network or the internet because again it's very lightweight so if we look at the benefit of using container we have many benefits the first is the agility because we can ship our application faster using the container it speeds up all the process the portability easily move workloads from different destination we also have the density because achieving resources efficiency because the, the best utilization for resources also rapid scale I can scale easily to meet the, the demand very easily because I can very easily and quickly create or provision a container and start it very quickly to scale my application without any overhead of the operating system so working with the container gave me many options like modernize my application innovate faster and run anywhere so working with container give me advantages over two sides the first for developers and the second for IT so for developer it give me fast iteration for developing my software agile delivery I can be more agile for delivering my software immutability 
which means that once I have the image of the container, I am sure it is not altered or changed. And for IT, it helps cost saving because it is best utilization for resources. So I only pay for what I need or what I use from the resources. It also helps for efficient deployment for my application and for elastic applications or a scaling application very effectively, quickly and effectively. So why containers works on my machine? You will never say that it doesn't work on my machine because once it works in your machine, it will work the same way on the other machine. Every environment looks the same. Increase velocity because it's speeding the delivery and the agility run anywhere secured and isolation on a single container host it gave me an isolation the same as the vm or the virtual machine container runs everywhere so it can run in linux or windows on the cloud and even drones or raspberry pi or iot or internet of things devices so it runs the same and run everywhere so container market is growing every year. So if we look at the last study by 45-1 research organization, which done for 184 vendors, we can see that the market for container is growing every year. So the study shows that the market will continue to expand to be worth more than 2.1 billion in 2019 and more than 4.3 billion in 2022 a compound growth rate around 30% every year, which means that more companies are adopting, embracing containers technologies. At the end, I would like to thank you for watching this video. If you have any question or inquiry, don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you.